Good morning vlog. Uh, at Maria's place this morning. We're busy cooking up some breakfast. How are you doing today? I'm good. <laughs> what block are you starting today? Endocrinology. And what is that for average people? That's like your hormone levels and how it's all controlled in your body. Should be interesting. Yeah. I'm going to campus today to work on project because uh, it's like five and a half, no, less than five. It's five weeks till my project is due, like to the day today. So very scared about that, very apprehensive, but just got to graft, graft, graft. I have a meeting with my study leader again this week. I have a report due for EDC for digital communications. So it's going to be a scary week. Let's uh, get the week moving. Look at this bitch of a hill I'm about to climb up. what I'm talking about. Oh, let me get down. This is a steep ass hill. But you gotta get your morning exercise somehow. It's only about two and a half, maybe three kilometers to campus from Maria's place, so not too bad. Jacarandas are blooming. You know what that means. If you haven't started studying yet, it's too late. Ish, it's far too close to the end of the year. So I'm in the project labs today, just um, grafting on my literature review for my project. It's not actually that important, um, but it needs to be done for the final report. And so I'm trying to get a head start on it. I had two pages of it done already from my first semester report. And now I'm trying to get the, like other four or five pages that I need to do done. I'm gonna crack it out all this morning. I think we're already on one, two, three, three and a little bit pages. So that's looking good. I'm just expanding on what I wrote earlier. And that can give me some more details for the different papers that I've read. Um, in order to get myself ready for my own project. So that's going to be done and then that's like another section of my final report that I can already put to the side and have done, finished and forget about while I focus on the rest of the implementation in the coming weeks. It's uh, five weeks till the project report is due. That 75 page monster that documents all of the work we've done throughout the year, documents all of the implementation code that we've written, documents all of the um, testing and uh, training, all that sort of stuff that we've done, all my neural network code, explanation, um, accuracy, all of that has to be in there alongside the results and the performance of the final system. So there's a lot to get through and I'm not there yet. The thing's not working fully yet. All I can do is take my hand and move the cube around the screen. I can't rotate it properly yet or let it sit on the surface or interact with other objects so lots still to be done in the next five weeks this should be the hardest five weeks of my varsity career and then once I'm over that life's gonna get so 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 much better and exciting once I finish the demonstration and presentation a week or two after the report as well of course but yeah things are looking up and here's my literature review written in overleaf of course looking nice and juicy along with proper referencing over here, I've got all the different papers that I'm currently reading. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. But I'll catch you outside later when we take a break. not working. I bet you the sound is going to be cut out of this clip. I'm sure the sound will be cut out of this clip. <laughs> hey yo, what's up? I don't know if you can see my eyes, but I'm really tired. It's um, almost five, still in the labs. I just finished working on my literature review. It's now a solid five pages. Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, it's looking pretty good. Um, I think you can see me scrolling through it, but yeah, it's a nice solid five pages. I've got, how many references do I have? 
can't even use my computer anymore. I have a nice 18 references, so it's all good. Uh, cited lots of machine learning papers and that with regards to my gesture recognition pipeline, and it's looking good. I needed to just get ahead with something, and now I can tick this off and forget about it until the final report submission. Gonna go home now, go on a quick run, and then get back to working on that EDC practical that's due for Wednesday, cook up some huge dinner for the rest of the week, do some meal prep, and also um, probably just proofread this once, once more before bed. Been a productive day. How you been, bruv? How is your project going? Um, so what I've done is so far is like built an integrated thing. And this whole time, I think last week, what mm -hmm. happened was I demoed to Robla and it was just like not about me because I showed him a simulated project, I mean part of the project, mm -hmm. essentially like everything done to the UI part, but then the actual gesture recognition classification stuff was like simulated. So I just had like a timer thing running and I was just like, put out these words, randomly select like a, you know, red But I know how much you've science. done. I know how accurate it is. Is that a test accuracy of 98% I see? Uh, yes. Oh, but yes. That's, on the, that's on the training set. So obviously that now means that my network is too biased. It's overtrained. It's overtrained. And essentially what will happen is it doesn't have a good um, rejection rate. So it just takes everything. It's like a you gonna do some a, thresholding? It's like a bit of a slut because uh, it just like wants to accept everything. As a oh shit, I see, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to do some thresholding yeah. and I'm gonna have like to do some more about. training and kind of train for rejection, essentially. That's the next step. Good man, we've got this. One month. Yeah. One month. Five weeks from today. Well, if you don't yeah. count today, four weeks, six days till the report's due. No man, I think you need to look at it as end of October. That's it. All right, then you've got There's a week. Seven days. Then you've got a week holidays. to polish. <laughs> you've got a week to polish. <laughs> Good man. Yeah, man. I just walked outside and it's honestly still so hot. It went up to 34 degrees today. I know it's going up to 35 tomorrow, but geez, it's um, quarter to six and I thought it was gonna be a lot cooler by now. I wanna go for a run now and I'm going to go for a run now, but it's gonna be an unpleasant experience if it's this hot. Good God, summer is here. Um, I remember uh, a time a couple of years ago in 2018 when we only got our first rain on December 28th. And that was the year where it was like 37 every day in December all the way up until the end of the year. I really hope that year is not going to be repeated this year. As soon as it rains, the temperature will cool down. But right now, 34 degrees, 35 degrees during the day, that's hot as hell. Anyway, I'll see you uh, on the road. <laughs> I'm wearing my uh, new tackies today that I got for my birthday. Check how cool they are. I actually ended up getting two lefts in the box when I first unboxed them, so they had to go back. But I'm super keen to try them out on a run now and see how they handle. It's so hot. I'm melting despite the fact that it's really dark. That guy was pacing. Check that back. <laughs> See there, he does the crash. Thank you. Put a shirt on, you skinny prawn. <laughs> <laughs> Hello vlog, it's 
late now. It's um, 10 to 12. I just finished uh, working on my literature review. Did one or two other pieces of work tonight, but yeah, I just finished off reading it once more for flow, doing a couple of grammatical changes, and yeah, I'm happy with it. Solid five pages of literature review. And uh, yeah, I can leave it now until I submit the report so I can work on other stuff. Yeah, I've got a lot of work to do still this week, but it's been a good evening. I did some nice cooking, got some meal prep done for lunch tomorrow and dinner tomorrow, and maybe I can make it stretch to <laughs> and dinner the to lunch the following day. Um, I actually went to like a second-hand bookstore this weekend with Maria, and I actually managed to find an old copy of um, Ian Banks's The Player of Games. I've listened to the entire culture series, um, audio book uh, series. I've listened to the entire series of the culture and that um, on audiobook and this was one of my favorite books and you just can't find the books in South Africa at exclusive books at Estoril and if you ask them to order them for you from overseas you'll pay an arm and a leg but I found this in a second-hand bookstore for just over a hundred bucks and yeah oh, it smells amazing and it's got the original cover art and that and yeah this is almost like a collector's item for me because it's one of my favorite books outlining like how amazing um, the future of science fiction and the future of um, technological civilizations can be. So yeah, I'm really happy I got that the other day. What have I been doing recently besides um, sitting and working on projects? Well, I've actually been really interested in following the rise of like the AI art generation um, revolution, I guess you can really call it. I've been looking at some of the amazing things that you can create using like stable diffusion and that, and I've generated a few images myself. You can see them here alongside the prompt used. And it's amazing to think that these are not just images searched off the internet. These are images actively created and diffused out of pure noise by a machine learning model. And uh, I've been writing a lot about like basic machine learning models like convolutional neural networks and um, you know, hand pose regressives and hand joint localization systems for my project. Because um, that's, you know, what the gesture control part of my project is all about. Um, but to see the kind of cutting edge of what AI can do right now and is going to be able to do in the next few months and years is really exciting. And I'm definitely keen to spend some more time after Varsity learning about those things. But yeah, thanks for spending this day in the life with me. It's late now. I'm going to head to bed. I will catch you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.